Yeah, all right, guys. This is a little video, real quick. I'm doing. Um, you guys seen that I had my twelves. This is one of my twelves. It's a uh, Boss Audio Phantom twelve-inch DVC. Pretty nice. I mean, it did the job. When I had it in, as you guys can see, it's got the uh, quad post. Sorry, quad post. It's all wired up. As you guys can see, it's got the wires running on each side. It's a dual four, and I've wired down a dual two ohm from dual four. And how you do that, I don't have my Allen key with me, so I really can't show you guys. But either way, to explain, if you have the quad post, you each um, positive and negative on each side of the coils, so you'll have like two little posts. You really only need one. You used to, you know, you only have to use one of them. So you do run a wire from positive, all the way around to the other side of positive, and you run one from negative, all the way around to negative. And then once you do that, when you put it in the box, you have your wires will come off your um, your terminals, unless you're doing direct wires. If you're running direct to your amp, you just take the wires, and you don't do it on. You don't run one negative on one side and positive on the other side. You run them both on the same side. Take your positive, put it with your positive. Your negative wire, put it with your negative. So basically, you'll have a set of wires running off like that, going to your amp or box. But then you got the wires that'll run down the sides, on each side, the back. So positive, positive, negative, negative. Another set of wires, positive, positive amp, negative, negative amp. Um, this said, this is a dual four. Let's see if I can get this on camera. As you guys can see, it's a P12 DVC Dual 4 Boss Audio 2000 watts. Um, I'm selling this one, and I have a Sony Explode. It's a 1200 watt max sub, 375 watts RMS, single 4 ohm uh, voice coil. Uh, this one's not even broken in. This one's basically brand new, and so is my other 12. If anyone's interested, just let me know. Um... I'll work out a price or something. I really don't need these because as you guys see my video, I got that 15-inch uh, Lanzar. And I actually got another one in there. I'll be making a video of both of them going hard. But as I said, this is uh, pretty nice. It's still a little stiff. You guys can see a little bit. So quite a bit stiff. It's got the uh, rubber surround. And it's got... um. Not a lot of subs have this. It's called the electroplate cone. It's, you know, electroplate kind of sounds like metal, but it's really thick plastic. Um, the only thing I really don't like about this, as you guys can see, I got an angle. It goes in, like it's got like a little dimple right there. I don't like that. But the spiders are really thick. It's got the, uh, I don't know if you guys can see this. Look in there. The tinsel leads are woven inside the cone, which is really nice. Added bonus. It's on both sides like that. Kind of like that. But the only thing I do not like, or another thing I don't like, is actually this plastic surround. This plastic surround is really bad. Because of the air lead. So, a lot of subs, they come with like a, a little um, foam insert that you would put under. So when you put it in... Your box, it uh, stops the air leaks. Um, if you're going to do anything, do that. Um, make sure if you're putting it in a brand new box to pre-drill your holes before you put the screws in. Make sure you use wood screws. Make sure they're at least 2.5 to 3 inches long. It's pretty long ones. Yeah, you know, it sounds like you really don't need that, but you're going to really want them to hold in real good and seal. But, yeah, I mean, if you guys want to know any more information on these subs, just uh, let me know, leave a comment, message, um, like video, subscribe. Thanks, guys.